She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hello everybody and welcome to it. Today we are back with yet another MacBook customization video. I know you all love these videos and I love them too. So if you haven't watched my other ones, please go watch those ones. I have three, I think, that you need to go watch before watching this one. Anyways, if this video helps you out, please hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do these videos all the time. This is my fourth one now, so if you subscribe, I'm sure there will be more coming. I also do these types of videos for iPads, iPhones, Apple Watches, and so much more. So come join my community here. Also, before we start, go ahead and comment what type of laptop you have, what year, what model it is. So for me, I have the 2020 M1 chip MacBook Air. So here it is. The MacBook case will also be linked below if you are interested in this. The things that we are going to be going over today include how to change the icon size on your laptops to make them bigger or smaller, how to change the size of your cursor, download fonts to your MacBook, how to change your default browser to Chrome, how to change your user photo, how to get the new cute digital clock screensaver. I'm going to show you how to create a cute aesthetic calendar wallpaper. How to set a message on your lock screen when you first are logging in. And how to use your own pictures for your folder icons. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so the first thing that we are going to talk about is how you can change the size of like all of your icons on your screen. So when you are on your screen, you'll just go up to this top where it says Finder and go to View and then Show View Options. And then right here, you can just change it to whatever. Um, so you can make them really tiny, really big. It's just up to you, but keep in mind it will change the size of like all screenshots and stuff that you put on your um, laptop too. You can also change the text size of like all your stuff down there. I might make it a little smaller. You can also do it by clicking command negative or command positive, like the minus and plus buttons on your keyboard. Next, we are going to be changing the size of our cursor. So, you know, the cursor is this little thing right here. So we'll go to settings and we're honestly just look up cursor, up oh, cursor size. And then you can just change it right there. So you can make it really big or really small. I think the normal is somewhere down there. Um, but I like to have it a little bigger just because I make all these videos where I'm showing you how to do things on your laptop. So I like to have it bigger so that you guys can easily see everything. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can download fonts onto your MacBook. These come in handy for whenever you are typing papers, having it on your little sticky note over here, honestly just whatever. Um, I just think they're really nice, especially for editing. For me, that's why I mostly downloaded them, and then I found out that I could put it on my sticky note. Um, but basically, all you really have to do is go to a font downloading website. I like Dove Font, and you just search through and find Whichever one you want, if it'll load, okay. Hmm, I normally go over to the calligraphy area. Sure, that's cute. Okay, so we will click download. So now I just drag this over here really quick, double click on that to unzip it, and click on the folder, and then you will look for the OTF file, double click that as well, and then it's gonna bring up your font book on your laptop, and you'll just click install font. There's all the ones I've installed, and there you go. So then, what we can do is on our sticky note, highlight this, click font, show fonts, and then look for Caroline, I think that's what it was called. There it is, Oh, so cute. And then I just delete that. Next up, I wanted to show you really quickly how to change your default browser, because a lot of people ask me how I even have Google Chrome on my laptop. Um, so I will just really quickly show you that. I think you have to um, download Google Chrome off of your Safari, um, and then you click download it there. And then, once you have it downloaded, you'll go to your system preferences, click general, and then default web browser is Google Chrome. So that's how I have that as the default one that opens up every time on my laptop instead of Safari. Sorry, these are all the short and quick, easy tips, and then we're getting into the more elaborate ones now. So next we are going to change our user photo which is what comes up at the beginning of your laptop when you first are restarting it. Um, so we're going to go into users and groups in your settings and then you have to click this little unlock button down here to be able to make changes and enter your password. Then from here you just click edit and then you can change this photo. So next save 
So cute. Also right over here you can add what things you want to open right away when you first are on your laptop. So for me I have Google Chrome to open automatically and that's just up to you as to what you want to have open. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to get this little screensaver right here. That's so cute. Because in my first MacBook customization video, I showed the Flickio one. That was like a digital clock and it was really cute. Um, but I wanted to switch things up because I've had that one, that other one for so long. Um, so I wanted to find a new, still like a simple and aesthetic one. So I found this one. Um, I have the link below, so you will have to click the link in the description. Um, but here we are. <laughs> and you will just click this little download button. And now it's counting down and it's starting. And then it'll come up right there in a zip file. And you'll just double click that. And then you'll double click that again. And then I already have it, but then from there you should be able to follow the steps to easily find it. And then you have to set it as your screensaver by going to System Preferences, Desktop and Screensaver. And then it'll be down there in the bottom. So there you go. And you can switch it down here um, for Oh, they have dark theme too? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> um, and then down here in the corner, you can set the time as to like how often you want it to start. So I have mine every five minutes that like, I'm not touching my computer. That's when it'll start automatically. Um, but if not, I also have the hot corner set up on mine, which I show you how to do in my MacBook customization part one, um, to where if I just go up to this top corner, it'll automatically turn on. So go watch that if you want to figure out how to do that. Next up, we have to do some type of cute aesthetic wallpaper because that's what we do in these videos. I wanted to try something different than just the average collage that I've showed time and time again. So here we are, this is what I've come up with. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you'll go to canva.com and look up desktop, wa ah, desktop wallpaper. And obviously they have so many cute free ones that you could pick if you don't wanna do what we're doing right here. Um, but the thing that we're doing is you'll click create a blank desktop wallpaper, okay? So you're going to look up the name of this one. So you will be looking up Ivory Beige Neutral Minimalistic 2021 Calendar Desktop Wallpaper. So we're gonna look up Ivory Beige, whoops. And you'll click that, so then you'll go to it and you'll find this month, which is April. So you'll just go and we're just gonna copy the calendar part so that we don't have to um, make that ourselves. And so then we'll do that. We're going to copy that with Command C. Okay, so then we're gonna close that out and create the blank desktop wallpaper. And then we're going to do Command V to add that in there. Oops. And then we're going to drag that all over. I wanna have it on this side. You can obviously put it wherever you want. And then if you're wanting to, you can change the fonts of this to whatever you want. Oh, that's really cute. You don't even have to choose this calendar if you want. You can look one up on Google and find something that you like better. Um, but I just thought that was really cute. So then you will head to Pinterest or your camera roll and find some cute pictures that you like. So mine obviously were all these ones that I had beforehand. I also have them saved on my Pinterest if you want to do that. And this wallpaper that we make, um, I will put on my website as well. So you can just download this one if this is the exact one that you're wanting. So. I'm just going to drag over some of my pictures. So now, we're gonna play around. Um, you could do it like a collage like we have been, where it's all cute like this. But I think I'm gonna try something different this time. So I want to do some little bit of structure here. So we're gonna, honestly, okay, I'm just gonna make a time lapse of this right now so I'm not sounding dumb. <laughs> Okay, I think that's so cute, but now I want to personalize it just a little more, um, and that is by adding some goals of mine, because I'm big on goals. I don't know if all of you are, but um, it's really helpful for me to be able to like see my goals every day, and what not better way to do that than putting it on my MacBook, which I'm on every day. Okay, I think this is so cute. So now I am just going to click download as a PNG. And then it will save and I'm just gonna drag it over here. So now to set it as your screen server, you just right click and then click set desktop picture. Oh, so cute. Oh wait, it got cut off. Okay, we need to adjust the sizing.
dry this again. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, so I have my cute new lock screen, but now I need to make some new folder icons. And as I mentioned earlier, I have all these new freebies up on my website that I downloaded. So here they are. Um, I think I'm gonna try uh, both of these. So I'll just quickly do that. Again, this tip on how to do this is in my other first video. My next tip is to show you how you can use your own photos for these. So what we will do is, again, head to Canva, the best website. And we're just going to click the logo size because we just need a square. Um, and then what we're going to do is go over to Elements and look up, or wait, we'll go to Frames. And then you can pick any of these that you want that are free, obviously. I think the Polaroid is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, we'll just do the Polaroid because it's adorable. And then make it as big as you can without cutting it off within the square. Okay, so now that you have that, you need to find a picture. It could be of yourself, it could be something you find on Pinterest. Okay, I'm just going to use this one. So then from there, you're just going to click download, download. And then we are going to drag that because we need to mess with this a little. So, you're going to double click and open your little thing up and go to these little arrows right here, click markup. So now we need to find this little wand tool and select the, ah, select the white areas and once it's selected like that, but don't get the frame, click your delete button on your keys or on your keyboard and then we'll just put that away, go away. Okay, so now from here we're going to do the thing where we say command A, command C, then we'll go over and click more info, go up there, command V. How cute is that? Oh, it's so cute. So obviously you can make that more aesthetic by using cute pictures like this. So yeah, I just want to show you that option if you're wanting to do that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, so now my last tip is pretty fun. I'm going to show you how you can make a little message on your first like little lock screen when you are kind of like locked out. So you'll go into your system preferences and then we're going to find security and privacy. And then you'll go over to the general and then click on the thing again. Okay. So then we're going to click uh, this little part right there, turn that on and click set lock message and then you can make whatever message you want. So I'm going to do something, I'm going to do a quote, I'm going to put this quote since it's being blocked by my sticky note, I'm going to say don't let, or you can make it something like stay off my laptop, okay, and then lock it up again. So then when you're on like your main page or whatever when you have to like log in with your password or touch id that'll all show there i will try and put a screenshot video over right now when i'm talking what it looks like again if this video helped you in any way please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so that other people can see this video too and help them out again everything like my website with those freebies that i used are all linked below for you if you want to twin with me if you use any of these tips right now please take a picture of it and put on your instagram story and tag me at julia k christ for a chance to be reposted i love seeing what you guys do with my graphics it's always so fun i truly appreciate you being here so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video